I am so pleased to announce our first speaker of the day. She is someone pretty well known in the WebAssembly community. Bailey Hayes is the CTO at Cosmonic. She is the, she's on the technical steering committee of the Bytecode Alliance. She is the co-chair of the WASI subgroup of W3C's WebAssembly community group. She believes that the future is in distributed systems and WebAssembly, and she's been around for a while in this community, so that definitely holds true. Um, her talk will explore the question, are we componentized yet? Please help me welcome Bailey Hayes to the stage. That's right. So today I am going to answer, are we componentized yet? But first, a brief detour. Before I can say whether or not we're componentized, I need first to know, do you know what a component is? And luckily, we had this fabulous talk from Luke Wagner yesterday where he answered the question, what is a component? And a component is a standard, soon, portable, lightweight, finely sandboxed, cross-language comp compositional module. That's a lot, uh, but he broke it all down really well in his talk yesterday. Uh, but for the sake of my talk, there's just a few key points that you need to know which is that the component model enables building from high-level languages into a portable bytecode, and the, those, that bytecode is now composable with any other language that's compiled to the same bytecode. So we've got language interoperability and composability. And a component fully encapsulates a core WebAssembly module, and you can talk to it through imports and exports. And that interface is defined uh, using um, both as part of the bytecode, it's, it's within a part of the component, and this is statically analyzable. It also enables us to build out capability-safe interfaces. Those interfaces themselves are defined using a new IDL that's defined as part of the component model called WIT. And it also lets us pass in these new high-level types like strings, enums, um, and also functions. So, Taking all of that and taking WIT, I can run tools like WIT Bindgen uh, and output a WASM component that adheres to those interfaces. So, after a whirlwind tour of what you need to know about the component model, uh, what does it mean to be componentized? And when I say, are we componentized, what I'm thinking about is, are we componentized as an ecosystem, as a WebAssembly ecosystem? And uh, we need to be sufficiently componentized to say whether or not we are actually componentized yet. Uh, I started thinking about this and drawing out like a mind map of what the component ecosystem might look like. Uh, but this was kind of lame looking, so Caroline helped me build out something that actually uh, makes a little bit better metaphor for this, which is uh, really it's like uh, a metro station where there are many different stops along the way. There are a lot of different tracks that are getting built out from this central station of the WASM component model. Uh, so first, I want to dig in a little bit on, okay, let's talk about that central station. Uh, it builds on top of the core spec. It's an extension of it. Uh, and so that's the component model. It sits right on top of it. There's this other thing called WASI Preview 2 that I'll talk a little bit more in a sec, uh, but that enables you to build modular interfaces on top of WASI Preview 2, but also your own interfaces. And you can build that on top of the component model or WASI Preview 2. And so what I'm hoping we enable is, you know, maybe like a train watching API that you build yourself. So WASI. Uh, and the component model are, are both standardized as part of the WASI subgroup of the W3C's WebAssembly community group. Now, uh, if you want to get started looking at the component model specification, this is the repo for it. And uh, to answer the question, are we componentized yet for the component model repo? Well, yeah, I mean, it's kind of hard to say that we're not for the component model. Uh, however, preview two is not done yet. Uh, we're on track for finishing that this year, so we're nearly there. Uh, preview three is, is another iteration that we're gonna be building on immediately after preview two. So we haven't hit MVP yet, uh, and that will give us the ability to have native async. And so moving right along on the standards track, uh, we hit WASI, and WASI is that piece, the WebAssembly Systems Interface, uh, but I like to also refer to it as the WebAssembly Standards Interfaces, uh, and they let us define uh, interfaces like on the left here we have logging, and on the right we also define these things called worlds. Uh, this is a very abbreviated version of that world, and that's the CLI world. 
And so with this, I can have the same building blocks and, and same foundational principles uh, that anybody can start building on top of. So is WASI componentized yet? Well, uh, I think you're gonna catch a little bit of a theme. Not quite yet. Uh, we will consider WASI Preview 2 uh, launched. WASI Preview 2 itself is built on top of the component model, and uh, it will be considered launched once we have two independent worlds. Uh, right now we're on track to have the WASI CLI world, and we also are looking at a, f a couple other worlds that are happening right now. Uh, WASI HTTP proxy is one of those. So to be included as part of the preview two, that basically means that it's met its portability criteria, so uh, we say that it can run in all the environments that we want it to run in, uh, but it also uh, has an implementation that um, people can, can use and try out and give feedback on, and it's been voted on by our, our community group. So, uh, let's talk a little bit off the track of, of standards and talk a little bit more about the implementation side of things. And when I talk about implementation, a lot of this is happening within the Bytecode Alliance uh, Software Foundation. And there we are building on top of these standards, uh, and on top, of, on top of we are implementing those standards. Uh, and our GitHub org is Bytecode Alliance. Uh, and so a lot of the different projects that I'm gonna highlight now are all gonna be coming out of the Bytecode Alliance. And the first one here is the component model reference implementation that is inside WASM time. WASM time is one of the runtimes that runs within the Bytecode Alliance. Uh, it's, it's pretty great, uh, and I recommend if you're into uh, looking at runtimes, go to Nick's talk, uh, that's later today. Uh, Guy Bedford actually talked yesterday, and he talked about another different way of being able to take a component and be able to run it. That's called JCO. JCO transpiles a WASM component into JavaScript runtime so that you can run it in browsers and uh, like in Node.js. And so these are two different places where I can take a component and, and run it somewhere. So that is clearly the first stop on our track of are we componentized yet? Uh, these runtimes I consider, yes, yes, we are componentized yet. I can take a component and I can run with it. Moving on to, okay, can I uh, build a component from some other language? Uh, so let's start with that. And we call those guest languages. Uh, the first one up here is Rust. Uh, I, there's now a tool created by Peter Hewn called Cargo Component. And so I can say something as simple as Cargo Component Build, and then out comes a component. So yes, that's componentized. Uh, there's another tool I have also created by Guy Bedford called Jaco, JavaScript Component Tooling. I can say Jaco Componentize, and out comes a component from JavaScript source. So yes, also componentized. Uh, now, there are other pieces like go, uh, and, and this command will uh, output a module. Um, it is, uh, so it's uh, the core WebAssembly spec, the core module. Uh, and I can do actually something to make it into a component. So it's, it's nearly there. Uh, it, I would run something like this. I would say go generate. I uh, then run tiny go build, uh, targeting the WASI preview one. API, and then I would use some tooling that's provided within the Bytecode Alliance called WASM Tools. WASM Tools has this piece here uh, that's the component adapter. That component adapter lives inside WASM time. If you're into uh, adaptation and transformations, that's a good project to check out. Uh, and so using that tool, I'm able to then take a WASI Preview 1 module and adapt it to a component. And that's why I would say that any language that compiles to WebAssembly today can be componentized. So every single one of these is nearly there. And so if you have a favorite language that you wanna make sure is there, uh, this is a great launching point to look at. Uh, and I also wanna highlight that uh, I'm calling TinyGo here because I use TinyGo to build reactor style modules, which is kinda like building a, re uh, a library. Uh, but also in upstream Golang, in the most recent release, we've got uh, WASI support there, and that work is continuing, and I'm really excited to see more progress made. Uh, now, the last one here uh, is gonna be, um, I'm gonna highlight Joel Dice. Joel uh, is gonna be giving a talk later today. He's gonna be talking about Python. Uh, it's called Componentized Pi, so I, I'm already gonna give it the check because it's obviously already componentized. Um, now, this isn't to say that any one of these projects is done. 
uh, that they don't have bugs, that there aren't things that we need to do to make that ecosystem cohesive and whole. Uh, and I would probably say, you know, uh, Componentize Pi is one of the more uh, complicated and interesting projects that we have. So um, all I'm saying is, is it Componentized? Yeah, yeah, it's componentized. So um, if you're interested in this side of the work, please come and join the SIG Guest Languages. That's our special interest group within the Bytecode Alliance. There are several different working groups for a lot of these languages. Moving on to the registry. So once I have WebAssembly components that I've produced, I wanna be able to share them. I want other people to download them and combine them uh, and work with others. And so later today, we've got another talk from Danny. He's gonna be talking about package management for WebAssembly components. And the project there, we call it WARG, that is a, an in-development registry protocol. It's also a CLI. Uh, so if you see the word WARG, think registry. Moving on to last, but absolutely not least, because throughout this entire conference, this is probably the number one thing people have asked about and want, and that's documentation. Uh, it is critically important for any ecosystem to have fabulous documentation to say whether or not it is actually componentized. Uh, and so, special thank you to Ivan and Kate for putting this together. Um, is it componentized? Well, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's happening. There's a lot more of that we want to add, and there are a lot of fabulous issues inside this repo uh, for requests saying, okay, here, here are some of, of the areas that we want to fill in. So, let's go back to the WASM Component Model Central Station. Uh, we've, we've got so many different uh, pieces and parts uh, of our track. And uh, I, I've, I ran through several different types of, of places and substations that we can hop on. Um, and if we do this, uh, I think that it's really important for you to realize that this is something that is part of an entire community. Uh, if we come together, yes, it's going to be a bumpy road. Uh, but if we are in it together, I think it's gonna be really fun. Uh, but not only that, the destination is truly remarkable because it's gonna change the way that we write applications today. And so, as Michelle's already highlighted, there is uh, an event that's gonna be happening tomorrow called Componentize the World. This is a registration link. Uh, and so I just wanna highlight one more time that is tomorrow, so please come out, get up early. Uh, uh, doors open at eight. Uh, the cost is free, it's free as in beer. And uh, where it's at the Microsoft Executive Center. And so, um, I will say that all of this is really bleeding edge technology. We're still laying down the tracks, so to speak. Uh, but you know, if you come out to componentize the world, I do ask you to mind the gap. Uh, but if we build it together, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun and uh, we can really build something that is gonna last for a long time. So thank you.